My BFI player choice this week is a mesmerising tale of young love from Belgian director Fabrice Duwelts, an eerily atmospheric affair that plays out as a spiralling fugue of passion, devotion, heartbreak and just a touch of horror, adoration. Thomas Jaria plays Paul, a shy youth whose mother works in a gladed psychiatric institution. While walking in the woods, Paul encounters Gloria, a paranoid patient played by Fontaine Harduin, whose previous credits include a key role in Michael Haneke's Happy End. Paul's mother warns him away, but there's an electrifying energy to Gloria that he can neither understand nor resist. And so the pair go on the run. Outlaws like Bonnie and Clyde, wrapped in the chaotic bubble of their insular experience, sworn to stay together till the end. Duelts first made his mark with the deliciously morbid 1999 short film A Wonderful Love and the astonishing 2004 feature Calvaire, a visionary odyssey in which the landscape gradually becomes more psychological than physical. He cemented his reputation amongst genre audiences with Vignan and Alleluia before moving into more mainstream fare with Colt 45 and Message from the King, the latter starring the great Chadwick Boseman. But with the stripped down adoration, Duelts gets back to his roots, conjuring a fatal romance inflected by the same eerie fairy tale atmosphere that has haunted all his finest films. Duelts describes adoration as a film about children who are overwhelmed by feelings that are too big for them, and the intensity of young love that's so all engulfing it becomes like a state of possession. Stylistically, the film owes a debt to the poetic realism of Jean Vigo or Marcel Carnet, with a narrative nod toward Ivan's childhood, Tarkovsky's portrait of innocence caught up in a world at war a theme which chimes very much with Duelts' film. Refusing to fit easily into any specific category, Adoration proved hard to market, although at the European Fantastic Film Festival in Strasbourg, where I first encountered it in 2019, it went down a storm. I've been singing its praises ever since, and I'm delighted to be able to introduce this uniquely magical and rather breathtaking film to you here on BFI Player.